interrupt this report uh, briefly to bring you some breaking news. Uh, prosecutors in Pennsylvania are set to announce whether or not Bill Cosby will be charged after a sexual encounter that occurred 12 years ago. Let's listen in. Uh, on an evening in early 2004 at Mr. Cosby's home in Cheltenham Township, Montgomery County. Mr. Cosby is charged with aggravated indecent assault. This is a felony of the first degree. Mr. Cosby's attorney has been notified of the charges and he is expected to be arraigned uh, later this afternoon. When we have a specific time uh, for that, we'll let you know. Uh, and that's going to be at the, uh, the Magisterial District Judge's uh, office in Elkins Park. The charges today um, are filed as a result of new information uh, that came to light in July of 2015. The statute of limitations in this type of case is 12 years. After determining that, that the statute of limitations regarding potential criminal offenses had not yet expired, the investigation was reopened. Working with Chief Norris and the Cheltenham Township Police, uh, Montgomery County detectives and prosecutors from our office, uh, our team re reviewed the initial investigation, re-interviewed some of the witnesses, examined evidence from the civil case, and information from other alleged victims. The evidence shows Mr. Cosby established a relationship with the victim after meeting her through uh, her work associated with Temple University's women's basketball program. Through the course of their association, the victim came to consider Mr. Cosby her mentor and her friend. On two other occasions before the incident leading to the criminal charge in this case, Mr. Cosby made two sexual advances at her that were rejected. On the evening in question, Mr. Cosby urged her to take pills that he provided to her and to drink wine, the effect of which rendered her unable to move or respond to his advances and he committed aggravated indecent assault upon her. Now a prosecutor's job is to follow the evidence wherever it takes us. Sometimes that means whenever it comes to light. When U.S. Federal Judge Edward Rebrano unsealed legal filings that contained references to the civil deposition and we learned about allegations from other victims under similar circumstances, reopening this case was not a question. Rather, reopening this case was our duty as law enforcement officers with a sworn obligation to uphold our constitutions and to uphold the law. Today, after examination of all the evidence, we are able to seek justice on behalf of the victim. Now, going forward, uh, we ask uh, that anyone that has any information regarding any similar incidents uh, with, with Mr. Cosby come forward. Uh, we ask them to contact either the Montgomery County Detective Bureau here uh, or Cheltenham Township uh, Police. Um, at this point, I will take questions. Um, well, I, I, I can at this point. Um, you know, there's going to certainly be motions that will be filed uh, in the case and matters to be litigated. I, I can't give you a determination of, of how that is going to uh, result, but the depositions were uh, released uh, by the federal court judge, uh, and uh, we examined them and examined other evidence that we were able to obtain in this case. Other questions? The arraignment will be in Elkins Park, and we don't have a specific time. I anticipate uh, it may be around 4 p.m. today. He will physically be there, or is it a uh, He has to appear at, at an arraignment before Magisterial District Judge uh, McHugh, uh, and he'll be arraigned uh, by her. It's her jurisdiction. Have you been in uh, contact with any of the other Cosby accusers uh, for potentially testifying in this? Well, I'm not going to get into specifics of, of the investigation uh, at this point, but it's outlined in the affidavit of probable cause uh, that there are uh, other um, alleged victims, and uh, we are um, examining 
uh, evidence uh, in that. And, and again, uh, as to the prior question, it's going to be uh, looked at in terms of motions that will be filed down the line here. Other alleged victims, but not in Pennsylvania, not in Montgomery County, correct? Uh, th this is the, the, the charge that we are proceeding on here today involves one victim, um, involves uh, a victim that went to Mr. Cosby's home uh, in Cheltenham in early 2004. Uh, there are, is one charge that is filed, aggravated indecent assault, which is a felony of the first degree. Has the victim indicated she'll be willing to testify at trial? She has indicated she would be willing to cooperate with us going forward. What was her reaction when you told her today to today you're going to file charges? Um, I didn't speak to her specifically, so I, I can't give you an answer to that. One charge, aggravated indecent assault. Uh, there is a um, statute of limitations uh, as to that charge, which is uh, within 12 years, uh, and that is the charge that we filed. Uh, there's separate uh, sections under that um, that uh, have been filed, uh, and uh, it is one charge. Can you discuss, though, the, the uh, use of the drugs and how that, does that play into the charges in terms of the aggravated factor, or is that just not part of the charge? All right, so the, the charge is aggravated indecent assault, um, and the, the breakdown of that statute is, uh, number one, a person uh, commits um, some type of vaginal penetration, digital penetration, uh, and the person does so without the complainant's consent, you know, so that's one. Uh, the second aspect, the complainant was uh, unconscious or the person knows that the complainant is unaware uh, that the penetration is occurring. Uh, five, the person has substantially impaired uh, the complainant's power to appraise or control his or her conduct by administering or providing uh, drugs uh, or other intoxicants or other means for the purpose of presenting, uh, preventing, excuse me, resistance. So that's the, the breakdown of the, of the statute.